How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly with Promo. And today we're doing another community top 10 video. This, of course, is for March of 2023. Uh, so if you're watching this sometime in the future, just let you know this is from 2023. Uh, so I started doing this. This is from using the data collected by Pub Meeple. Pub Meeple is a website where you can go out, rate your game collection, it'll pull it all in from Board Game Geek, and then it'll just say, okay, do you like Arc Nova? Do you like Terraforming Mars? Do you like uh marvel united do you like disney villainous right and it just compares every game that you have in your collection or at least that you tell it uh that you want to rate against and then it puts it all together as well here's your number one game here is your number 100 game uh so what i do is i take the top 100 games uh that were rated one pub meeple for the munch for the munch for the month of february and March, uh, compare them. I have that in a separate video called the buzz or community buzz, uh, but this is just what was rated. Okay, so number 10 is Eclipse Second Dawn for the Galaxy. Uh, it is uh, currently ranked about an 8.5 on Board Game Geek with 22 overall. So a very popular game. Uh, it's basically a game where you are trying to control a civilization uh, and you're competing with the other players while you're exploring new star systems, finding new technology, uh, building up your spaceships. So it almost to me seems like a 4X. I've never played it, so I can't really, uh, you know, <laughs> say anything about that. Uh, I do know that it says there is some dice rolling, uh, there's some miniatures, things like that. I think this one is showing up uh, this month because they did announce some additional expansions that will be coming out for the game. So some people are probably getting it to their table more often right now to see, you know, do they want to get these new expansions or is the game just not for them? Well, with this kind of raking, uh, I would say people are probably going to be picking up those expansions when they come out. So number nine is PAX Premier Second Edition. Um, so this one is rated just as highly uh, on Board Game Geek. Uh, this one is a uh, you're going to be in an Afghan leaders attempting to forge uh, new states after the collapse of the Durrani Empire. Um, so this one here is an area movement, uh, area control style game uh, where players are basically just trying to gain that dominance over the areas. This is the second edition. So, of course, similar to uh, Eclipse, it is the more revised edition. This is the one that people are rating and ranking. Um, no, it was I do know it was on the top. 25 games last year the top video i did for last year's rankings so i imagine this one is just showing up now uh, because it's set settling into its place of where it will normally be at the end of the year all right so number eight is everdell specifically everdell the complete collection so i don't know if the regular everdell will be rated as much anymore um just because most people that had everdell probably had everything, probably switch over to the complete collection, and that's what they're ranking on uh, Pub Meeple. One thing the Pub Meeple doesn't do, which is very similar to the BGG, it doesn't distinguish between the different versions. So I'm just using what's currently listed, which people are rating the complete collection. So Everdell, of course, is a tableau building game where you're sending out your little forest meeples to collect resources, so then you can build different uh, buildings in your town, bring in some additional uh, little critters, and then you activate those a uh, little bit of engine building as well to get the most resources, get the most victory points at the end of the game. Um, but that is Everdell. Imagine it's going to be an evergreen. It's going to be around for a while uh, on this ranking. So number seven is Revive. So if you watched the buzz last month, the Revive was one that uh, this one, you're basically trying to revive. I didn't know what it was about. Um, now I'm kind of reading the BGG. Uh, but you're trying to revive Civilization 5,000 years after everything was destroyed. Um, it is a deck bag and pool building game. Uh, what else has got? It's got tech trees, variable player, player powers. This seems like a perfect game for me and either to play. It does have a little bit of a higher weight, 3.41. We, we are playing some threes to three and a halfs. Fours is probably our cutoff point. Uh, this did recently fulfill our... I should say it, it did a crowdfunding, it was overseas, and then there were some delays getting it to the US. Um, I do know that um, Colossal Games is the one, this is one of their uh, friends, uh, as Colossal Games calls them, uh, it's Arporta Games. So we might reach out, see if we can get a copy, but I think it's gonna be very hard to come by. So I doubt even the publisher or Colossal in this case would have extra copies to send out for review. Uh, but if you guys have played this game, let us know down in the comments, uh, what do you think about it? So number six is Nemesis. So Nemesis is a, 
I wouldn't call it hidden role, hidden trader game, uh, but basically you're playing alien the board game. Um, you're going to have a special role, you're going to go through the ship, you're going to have objectives that you're trying to complete, uh, and all the while aliens are popping out on the ship trying to attack you. This one of course shows up this month because they did just announce the third in the series. So you have Nemesis, Nemesis Lockdown, and then of course the new Nemesis, I forget the name of it, uh, is coming to crowdfunding next, um, or this fall, not next year, this fall. So I imagine a lot of people pulled out their Nemesis boxes, played through it, because a lot of times when things get announced, you're like, man, I really did like that game, and people go out and play it more. So I imagine people are playing it more, uh, and then of course, ranking it accordingly. So number five is Mage Knight. So Mage Knight is a older game. However, the one that was showing up in Pub Meeple was specifically Mage Knight Ultimate Edition. Again, I don't know if it's very similar to with Everdell with the complete collection that once people got the Ultimate Edition, that's the only one they rate. Um, however, Mage Knight uh, has been around quite a while. I mean, the Ultimate Edition was 2018, but I think the original game was like 2011. Uh, but same thing, you were doing um, some conflict and bag building in this one as well. Uh, dice rolling. Um, basically, you are taking elements of an RPG game uh, and standard board games, it says. And you're putting in control one of seven powerful mages. You explore and conquer the corner of the Mage Knight universe uh, under the Antili Atlantean Empire. I thought Atlantis went under, but yeah. So build your army, fill your power with decks, action spells, explore caves and dungeons. So it seems like it's kind of a, a dungeon crawler. Uh, and you're going to do some card and dice management. Uh, but that one is 4.65. So that one is pretty high, especially for a WizKids games. Most of your WizKids games, I don't feel are that high uh, in complexity. Uh, this is one that they've had for a while and people really like. So number four is another second edition or second printing. This is Great Western Trail second edition. Um, the Argentina just came out and they did just mention the new Australia um, or is it New Zealand? I think it's New Zealand uh, version that's going to be coming out. So I think same thing with this, as I mentioned last month, there's a lot of people are trying to play this game to see do they want this or do they want the new versions. So a lot of times, a lot of people, of course, will use Pup Meeple to rank similar games together to say, out of these similar games, which one do I want to keep? Right now, Great Western Trail, at least the second edition, is winning. Great Western Trail is a deck building racing style game. You're trying to uh, build a deck of cards, herd some cattle, uh, and get them sold on the market. We like deck building games. This one, I mean, th I think the only thing with this one is the theme wouldn't do it much for us. But maybe if we played the Argentina version, of course, because Adri is from South America, Colombia specifically. So maybe that one would have a little bit better feeling of a theme for us. But that is Great Western Trail. Number three shouldn't be a surprise, but unfortunately it's kind of a surprise where it's sitting, and that is Brass Birmingham. Uh, Brass Birmingham, of course, is the number one game on Board Game Geek right now. Um, it is a economic strategy game where you are uh, an entrepreneur and you're during the industrial revolution and you're basically trying to develop and build uh, the industry and your network uh, for higher demands. Standard Euro, right? You're gonna build, you're gonna sell things, you're going to then of course get the most victory points uh, to win the game. At least I think it's victory points. This doesn't say what you do to win the game. Uh, but again, very much liked 3.9, so it's not too complex. Uh, it is something I would like to try. Um, just haven't had a chance to pick it up. Also, I know there's some, I don't know if there's different editions, like different blinged out editions. I do know that they have the clay poker chips. Uh, and of course, I'd probably want to get those because those seem uh, really fancy, but it'd be kind of bad to get a game like this, not like it and then bling it out. But that's 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 how things are. That's how, that's how FOMO works. So number two is another game that has come out recently and is climbing through the ranks of Board Game Beat pretty quickly. And that is Dune Imperium. So Dune Imperium, of course, based off of the Dune IP, is a deck building game, uh, resource management game where you are trying to buy and sell and do influence uh, against the different houses and collect spice. Uh, haven't watched the movie. Do need to watch the movie. Once we do that, maybe that would encourage me to get this. Um, currently, we do have Arc Nova we still need to play, which this and Arc Nova are being compared uh, to each other. So this may be another reason why this one, besides it ranking highly overall on Board Game Geek, it's number 10. I think might be a little bit of that. Do I like Arc Nova? Do I like Dune? Do I like Clank? Do I like, you know, you're comparing all your deck building games and this is the one that comes out on top. Um, that is Dune Imperium. 
All right, and the number one game is the same number one game as it was from uh, last month. That is Ark Nova. Ark Nova is a game where you're trying to uh, manage a zoo. So you're gonna be playing card actions, building an engine to get money and, and finances. Uh, you're going to collect animals to your zoo, which is also gonna get your resources. I uh, get sponsors to help you raise money for your zoo uh, and so forth. We were told this we would probably like better than our, and then Terraforming Mars. So I do have a copy of Ark Nova. We'll be playing that um, Terraforming Mars as well as another game, which I feel was going to be rising pretty quickly in the ranks. And that is Earth. So we'll be playing all three of those on the channel to kind of compare and see which one we like better. Cause those are kind of getting compared to each other. So if you want to be able to see that content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way, you know, when we publish those videos. There we go, guys. That is the top 10 for the month of March 2023. Um, if you want to be able to contribute to this, all you need to do is go out to Pub Meeple, rank your games, whether you want to do it monthly or whether you want to do it, you know, whenever. Uh, just go ahead and use their little, uh, I want to say app, but it's not an app. Just use their website, rank your games, uh, and see if any of these make your top 10. Until next time, guys. Peace.